Hello everyone, the fox are in here. Now that that's all done and I've we've celebrated. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. We are low for a gas meet. Will you get out of now if you don't mind? Get I've got out a city to of keep. my way. What is it? Did he now? <laughs> the man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun. As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irelith. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. <laughs> I'm not the High King. But neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius' request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. <laughs> Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. Yep. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly then to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. No. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? What is it that you need? Yes, to General Tullius. I need oh, to make geez. a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires of his. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna have to kill him then. Darn. And I liked him too! Lissai. Oh well. Let's see. Palace of the Kings. So, if I had chosen the other side, it'd be the opposite, I'm guessing. Either way, this guy has to die. That's a little depressing. Soon enough, we will march on solitude, and on that day the heroes of Southern Guard will march with us, and the Emperor, the I was wrong about him. You are right, Dalmar. Again. On the known to jump. Give the word, my lord, and Whiterun is yours. Whiterun is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric. What are you doing Whenever you are. 
Is any man ever ready to give the order that will mean the deaths of men? No, but neither is every man able to give that order when he must. But you are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. He's got a point. They are the meanest, toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to Language. offer. Language. And they want this. They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. Probably. You're certain we're ready. White One's army will no doubt be bolstered with legionnaires. And those walls around White Run are old. But they still stand. We are ready. And I might be old myself. But I'll kick those damn walls down with my bare feet if you would only ask me to do it. <laughs> I'm sure you could do it too. All right. This is it. Yes. Yes. Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over White Run. I and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. Oh, goodness. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in White Run. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. Yes, sir. Fight well or die well. Talos be with you. Message to White Run. Starting battle for White Run. Okay, um... This is going to be bad. I just have that feeling. This is it, man! They say that our cause is false, and that we are nothing more than thieves. But no! We are farmers! We are craftsmen! <coughs> We are sons and daughters of shopkeepers, maidservants, and soldiers. We are the sons and daughters of Skyrim. My house. And we have come this far because our cause is true. Because you guys better not hit my house. And because our hearts are bursting with anger. Seriously, don't hit my house. I've got a lot of stuff in there. Servicus, what are you doing standing over here? I'm not sure how I feel about being here. Goodness me, that horse is on fire. No, that's my horse. One of the few times where killing these guards is actually okay.
Man, I know these guards. This is so weird. This is my city. Open the drawbridge. Actually, no, wait. These aren't soldiers that I know. These are... These are the stupid legionnaires. Am I being hit from behind? You. I don't like you. I don't like you either. They're Imperial soldiers. There are white run guards among them. Oh geez, they spawn back here. Okay. I get it now. Wait. Am I supposed to go there? I just I'm sorry, but... Had to be done. Let's hope none of the actual shopkeepers and stuff are fighting, because I'd hate to kill some of them. Cervicus? Oh, there you are. I was like, I, I'm sure I heard it. Yes. No mercy. Sorry. I don't give the orders. Cow. On fire. <laughs> Man, they're just taking it. <laughs> Oh, in the head. Somebody else drop him. Yep. Somehow I had the feeling that it would be me against him. He's gonna be surprised to see me, but not really. I'm pretty sure I killed more than you. Stay back home. Damn if I let this rabble break my city without raising my own sword. I surrender. I surrender. Peace. 
Everyone stand down. That's an order. Stand down. Vignar Greymane. Your family was noticeably absent from the walls. Now I know why. Wouldn't the dagger in the back have sufficed? Stop it. You think this is personal? The Empire has no place in Skyrim. Not anymore. And you, you have no place in Whiterun anymore. A convenient position to hold now. But mark my words, old man. In the days to come, Ulfric will spread his rebellion thin. And what then? We need the Empire as much as it needs us. We Nords are the Empire. Our blood built it. Our blood sustains it. You Good job out there. Glad you were with us. But what are you doing? If this was my Empire, I'd be able to worship whoever I damn well pleased. You wish to see an Empire without Talos? Without its soul? We should be fighting those witch elves. Not Sydney needs them. The Emperor is nothing more than a Stop it. Oh. Skyrim needs a high king Stop it. who will fight for her. And Whiterun needs a Jarl who will do the same. Tell me, Vignar, was all this worth it? How many of those corpses lining our streets wear the faces of men who once called you? Oh, stop it! What about their families? Enough, both of you. There is a burning city out there that needs a government. He's right. Galmar, come. Let us restore order. This isn't over. Hear me, you old fool. This isn't over. And you, a storm cloak. I thought better. I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people no good. Glad we straightened that out. Get over to Vendhelm. Tell Ulfric about victory here. I surrender. Give me a few hours to gather my household. I'll depart. You have my word. They will sing stories of this day. Tell Ulfric of our victory here. <sighs> well, I liked him, but get over to Vendhelm. I don't know if I like the new guy. That's the real question, is am I gonna knight like the new guy? We sure showed them! Word is spreading like mage fire. The great evil has been vanquished. You have truly oh, saved us Oh, you're talking about the... Here? Oh, so close. Oh, the city still is completely on fire, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that he he's... I'm surprised he's surprised that... I'm surprised that he's surprised that... I'm... A Stormcloak when I bloody handed him the axe. I mean, seriously. But I'm absolutely sure it would have been the opposite way. Like, it would have been the same exact way, opposite, if I had chosen to side with. I'm sure it would have. It might not have, but I'm. I'm confident it would have. We've driven the Imperials out of White Run. This is good. Very good. We now control the center. It's a powerful position. One I aim to keep. We'll call you Ice Veins now. For the thick blood of our land has sucked huh? into your heart. Here, take this. It's an Imperial officer's sword. A fitting weapon to use against our like enemy. It. 
I suspect you'll be of greater use to us with greater freedom. So you're free to engage the Imperials as you awesome. see fit. But I also want you to find our hidden camp in Fort Green. Galmar will have special tasks for you, and will need you when we liberate the capital. Understood. For Skyrim. It's a nice room. Don't you think so, Derpicus? Isn't this a nice room? Look at how bright it is outside. Hmm. This is a good place to end the episode. Sleep. Oh wait, I don't get a bonus from sleeping. Because I'm a werewolf. Anyways, thank you for watching. Click, comment, rate, subscribe. Fox out.